total internal reflection microscopy, or turf microscopy. If you're like me, you've heard the term, but you're not necessarily familiar with the specifics behind the technology. Well, fortunately, I'm here with Stuart Shand, who's a product manager for Olympus. Stuart, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. So Stuart, you're here to introduce the motorized cell turf illuminator. Yep. So maybe you could talk a little bit about turf and then discuss how the illuminator fits into the year, into the new Olympus product line. Yeah, absolutely. So Olympus is actually the pioneer of objective-based uh, turf microscopy. We introduced our first system back in 1997 and this system actually now represents our fifth uh, generation of illuminator. Turf uh, microscopy is an incredibly elegant technique that allows you to uh, monitor fluorescence at the, uh, at the cover slip cell interface. Uh, we, bring, we bring lasers in at increasingly steep angles and we hit what's called uh, the critical angle after which all light is totally internally reflected, hence turf microscopy. The benefits behind this is uh, removing all of the out of focus uh, light associated with uh, a cell or tissue uh, to allow us to really just look down at what's, what's happening at the membrane or focal adhesions and how cells are, are moving across a cover slip. Um, we, we set up a, an electromagnetic wave that has exactly the same properties uh, as far as fluorescence is concerned as the laser light that is, that is causing it. So we're able to create very thin uh, sections just at the cover slip interface in the order of 50 to 200 nanometers thick. Okay, wow, so you're really looking at, at that point, just at single molecules almost. Yep, single molecules uh, and you know, any event that, that's happening uh, at the, the cell membrane. Uh, and we get an incredible uh, increase in the signal to noise ratio when we remove all of the out of focus light when we get into turf. So it really does allow us to get down to that single molecule uh, scale. So the new system, the motorized cell turf illuminator, T talk to me a little bit about that. What are the advancements that you made with this new illuminator? Yeah, so uh, this is the, the fifth generation of turf illuminator. Uh, two years ago we introduced our two-line and three-line uh, manual systems. Uh, this is actually a four-line system now, which is uh, fully motorized. So uh, some, some significant advances from the, 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 the old systems. Each fiber still comes in individually, as it did with our two- and three-line systems. That allows us to have uh, individual control of each of the, the wavelengths. Something that is important for turf is that the different wavelengths uh, at similar angles have different penetration depths. We want to be able to make sure that we have the same penetration depth for each wavelength and therefore having each wavelength delivered individually and having individual control of that means that this is the only illuminator that can allow you to simultaneously do multiple colors uh, and in the, the case of this system up to four simultaneously. Interesting, okay. So the, the, the key part of this I think is that it, it's motorized, right? Absolutely, yep. So what are the advantages of, of having the system motorized like this as opposed to, you know? The nice thing is that with the motorization we're able to really control um, exactly where the, the stepper motor is positioning our fiber. Because of that we know what the, the incident angle is. Uh, We'll go over the software in a little while, but it's uh, much easier to be able to access, uh, to control the turf angle, to read out what your penetration or calculated penetration depth is, and to, just to see the parameters that, that really are of interest for you and for people you know, reading about your work to know exactly how the system was, uh, was set up. So it just makes everything more reproducible. Exactly, exactly. So for each, for each laser line, we can uh, individually focus each wavelength. Again, it's, it's important to make sure that each wavelength is focused and also that they have the appropriate incident angle to achieve the desired penetration depth. Moving further along each of the four lines, you can see that they're stacked in like this, we have a 25 millimeter access port here. This is very important, particularly for people doing single molecule work. They want to be able to put cleanup filters for their laser lines. This makes including one of those incredibly simple, just slide it out, put in a 25 millimeter filter, and then you have that inserted. Moving further along, each of the lines has its own field stop, which is, which is centerable, so that's a, that's a nice feature as well for each of those lines. Uh, something interesting that we have as well, just on the first line, uh, for most systems that are configured, this is the 405 nanometer uh, wavelengths, is uh, a lens here. What the lens will actually do is turn the first turfing line into a frapping line or fluorescence recovery after photo bleaching. 
what that does is actually turns, puts the focused beam from the back focal plane into the image plane. So it's, it's a simple point frap system, but that's really nice for people who want to combine photo activation or uncaging work with, with turf. And again, simultaneously. Okay, interesting. So, and then before we move on to the control software, it looks like you've just got this mounted on a standard Olympus inverted microscope. Yep, absolutely. So the, the illuminator is compatible with uh, all of our uh, current inverted uh, platforms, the iX71, the 81, the motorized, and the, uh, the iX81 ZDC with the uh, autofocusing. Well, maybe you can just walk us through the control software system. Absolutely. The way that we have this set up is that each of our turf objectives are preloaded into the software. So we now have six turf objectives. Uh, we have uh, 60x145 and 149, 100x145 and 149. We have our 100x 1.65 NA objective, and then we also have uh, 150x 1.45. So we have a fantastic range of optics to go with the illuminator and all of those are preloaded into the software. So you would just go in and select your particular uh, objective and then the graph on the left hand side is showing incident angle on the lower axis versus calculated penetration depth on the left hand axis. Each of the, the curves that you can see come in there are for the specific wavelengths that we're using. So the system is set up for four different uh, wavelengths, 405, 491, 561, and 640. So the, they're color-coded there with the curve on the left-hand side being the 405, moving towards the 640 on the right-hand side. And this actually represents what I was saying earlier, how critical it is to have uh, different incident angles for different wavelengths, and that, that's really what this, what this graph is showing. Each of the wavelengths is then, each of the fibers is then controlled individually by sliders. On the previous systems, we used the, um, the micrometers. Now it's all done with stepper motors via sliders. So we can click and drag in here to adjust, uh, to make small adjustments. We can maybe use the mouse wheel to make uh, faster adjustments. And we're reading out here the, uh, the, beam pos the position of the optical fiber, which is actually here on the illuminator, and then the calculated penetration depth here which is what we're interested in for turf. So this number here reading out uh, is in nanometers. We have individual control of the, each of the lines, so we're really able to go ahead and, uh, and adjust these uh, individually to make sure that we are achieving the same penetration depth for each of the lines, the same with the third and the fourth. Something that is nice that we can do is if we wanted to switch to wide field illumination, we can do that just by simply clicking here and all of the beams will go to the center of the back focal plane of the objective, giving us wide field. Clicking set penetration depth again takes us back into turf. Something that is nice is we're able to go in here and, and select a, a predetermined calculated penetration depth based on the parameters that are set up. So right now it's set at uh, 110 nanometers. Just by clicking set penetration depth calculates or sets up such that each uh, wavelength is at the appropriate incident angle, which is read down here. You can see 66.6, 68, 69.39, and 71.4. So this really demonstrates uh, the need to be able to have individual uh, control. Something else that we can do is be able to monitor up here on the software and take each wavelength down to the highest possible incident angle, giving us the, the lowest possible penetration depth. That's particularly important for when people are looking at cells. They want to be insensitive to the, 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 different, uh, the different organelles having different refractive indices. So being down at the, the steeper angle, at the, the higher angles really makes you insensitive to that. And so it's nice to be able to see where you are for each of the wavelengths and know that you're getting as close to the extreme of the, the objective's capability as possible. Interesting. All right. Well, Stuart, thank you for the the primer on turf microscopy, and uh, congratulations on the new illuminator. Great. Great. Thank you. We're very excited.